Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. So we are taking uh, the class fourth of uh, tenth electric current. That is class four tenth electric current. So in the last class, we have uh, discussed what is electric current and uh, how to obtain electric current right the flow of electric charges in a given direction is called electric current in order to obtain uh, electric current uh, the two necessary conditions are number one potential difference which is provided by a cell or a battery and number two conducting path uh, it is provided by a conductor or uh, a metallic wire now in this class uh, let us uh, define electric current right. now Definition of electric current uh, means to give a mathematical form to measure right, the electric current. Now electric current uh, is uh, defined as the time rate of flow of electric charges across uh, a section of uh, a conductor. Right. Definition it is electric current is defined as the time rate of flow of charges across a section of a conductor. That means electric current is equal to charge flowed by time taken. Now let us consider a cylindrical conductor right connected to the terminals right let a small cross sectional area of uh, the conductor cross sectional area like this this is the cross sectional area so a Right, let uh, a quantity of charge Q is flowing through the conductor for a time interval T. That uh, the flow of charge in a given direction constitute an electric current. Let uh, I be the electric current uh, flowing through the conductor that is through the section of the conductor. Then by definition by definition so electric current i is equal to q by t where i is the magnitude of current and q is the magnitude of charge flowing across any section of the conductor and t is the time taken right so this q by t represents the time rate of flow of charges across the section of uh, a conductor right now if we take uh, right so si unit of current is ampere ampere is uh, the si unit of electric current
now so si unit of electric current is a ampere right now by definition electric current i is equal to q by e therefore unit of current i is equal to unit of charge q divided by unit of i so si unit of current is a ampere is equal to unit of charge that is coulomb by second that is a so ampere is equivalent to coulomb per second right so the actual unit of electric current is coulomb per second and that coulomb per second is uh, named as ampere in the honor of uh, the scientist ampere now when charge q is equal to 1 coulomb unit charge and time taken t is equal to 1 second then so 1 ampere is equal to 1 coulomb per second so ampere is uh, defined as that current flowing through the conductor when one coulomb of charge flows through any section of the conductor in one second right or 1 ampere is equal to units that means if the quantity of electric current is very small we use a smaller units of current right that is number 1 we use milli ampere symbol is ma 1 milli ampere is equal to 1 by 1000 part of uh, an ampere right that is equal to 1 by 1000 ampere or it is equal to 10 power minus 3 ampere when we take uh, this 1000 as a uh, 10 to the power of 3 when the 10 to the power of 3 is taken to the numerator it become 10 power minus 3 ampere suppose if we have 2.5 milli ampere then the value of current in ampere it is 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 ampere so example right 2.5 milli ampere is equal to 2.5 into 10 power minus 3 ampere this is how we can convert a milli ampere into right ampere now the second one is micro ampere it is symbol is mu a right so micro ampere is equal to 10 to the power of minus 6 ampere say we have the current of 65 micro ampere current that is equal to 65 into right micro ampere is equal to 10 power minus 6 ampere right so we have defined the electric current we have obtained a formula to calculate uh, the amount of or quantity of current flowing through a conductor and uh, the si unit of ampere right now let us take some uh, numerical problems numerical problems right so number 1 so i will read it out right 
and then I will write the data. Now, a current of 0 0.5 ampere is drawn by a filament of an electric bulb for 10 minutes. Find the amount of electric charge that flows through the bulb. Right. Now, we have given the data. Now, so here given current drawn from the bulb, current I is equal to 0 0.5 ampere right? and uh, this current flows through the wire, when means the bulb for 10 minutes. Time taken T is equal to 10 minutes. So, when we are using SI system, current is measured in ampere, charge is measured in coulomb, and time is measured in second, right? But given time 10 minutes, it is not SI system, it is a convenient unit, right? SI system of time is second. Therefore, we need to convert uh, this 10 minute into second. So, this is equal to 10, the numerical value. So, 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds, right? That is equal to 60 seconds. Therefore, time taken is equal to, it is 600 seconds. <coughs> Now we need to calculate what the charge flowing through the bulb Q is equal to what? Current is given, time is given, we need to calculate the charge. Now what is the formula relating I, T and Q? Right? Now the formula is, is I is equal to Q by T. Directly we can substitute for current for T and calculate the value of T or we can rewrite this equation cross multiplying it Q is equal to I into T or Q is equal to right uh, what is current 0 0.5 into 600 or Q is equal to 0 0.5 means 1 by 2. 1 by 2 into 600 means 600 by 2 that is equal to 300 coulomb. So, the answer is uh, the charge flowing through the bulb is 300 coulomb. Now we will take up a second numerical problem. Right. A charge of 120 coulomb flows through a bulb for one minute. Find the amount of current flowing through the bulb. Here the given data Now the charge flowing through the bulb, charge is given, <coughs> Q is equal to, it is 120 coulomb. Now, 
सो टाइम टी इज इक्वल टू वन मिनट अगेन वी नीड टू कन्वर्ट द टाइम इन टू सेकेंड राइट दट इज इक्वल टू वन इन टू सिक्सटी सेकेंड देर फोर टाइम टी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी सेकेंड now what we need to calculate one what is the current flowing through the bulb the current i is equal to what now again q t and i are there what is the relation now the formula to be is i is equal to q by t relation between current charge and time so straight away substituting i is equal to q 120 coulomb by 60 second 0 0 get cancel 12 divided by 6 is 2 so i is equal to 2 but this coulomb per second is nothing but ampere now we shall take up a another concept right uh, that is a uh, electric circuit electric circuit right now electric circuit is a closed path for the flow of electric current uh, through any number of uh, circuit components like uh, resistors right uh, cells right uh, connecting wires etc so electrical circuit is a closed path for the flow of electric current and uh, an electrical circuit uh, that converts uh, electrical energy into any other form of energy suppose uh, when uh, we use uh, a torch light it is a circuit consisting of electric bulb cell connecting wires and a switch right when uh, the switch is on right uh, the bulb will glow that converts that circuit that converts electrical energy into light energy whenever we take uh, an iron box right uh, we put the plug and uh, switch is on right then the iron box gets heated right here this is circuit right converts a uh, electrical energy into heat energy similarly we are having a fan suppose stable fan when we insert the plug right uh, to a socket and put on the switch then the fan starts moving the wing starts rotating here this electrical circuits correct circuit converts right electrical energy into mechanical energy right so remember that one now circuit diagram i have already explained what is circuit diagram just i am uh, mentioning this one here a schematic diagram representing an electrical circuit in terms of electrical components such as right resistor or bulb connecting wires cells right switch or plug keys etc is called as a, a circuit a diagram if i write a simple circuit diagram right
right it is a circuit diagram right now when a current i flows through the closed path right from positive terminal of the negative through to negative terminal of battery outside the battery and inside the battery it is from negative terminal of the cell to positive terminal of the cell this entire closed path say starting from positive terminal of the battery to the same positive terminal right closed path is called as a electric circuit the diagram is circuit diagram and it is a an electric circuit now we take another concept that is ohms law right now this ohms law is an important law in the study of a uh, electric current right we know that whenever a potential difference is uh, applied between two ends of uh, a conductor or a resistor a current flows through it this ohms law gives the relation between electric current i flowing through a conductor and uh, the potential difference v right applied across the conductor right now ohms law gives the relation between current i flowing through a conductor and potential difference v between ends of the conductor this is the significance or importance of ohms law Now, if we take the statement, Ohm's law states that at constant temperature and other physical condition remain same, right? Electric current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to potential difference between. the ends of the conductor right the statement at constant temperature the electric current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to potential difference across its ends that is between the ends of uh, the conductor this is the statement of uh, ohms law but i have mentioned other physical condition remains constant when you go to the higher classes uh, you will see what are those uh, other physical condition as far as your 10th standard is concerned uh, that constant temperature condition is sufficient right now let us give explanation to ohms law right now let us consider a 
conductor ad represented by a circuit symbol of resistor because a conductor is a resistor now the resistance is represented by r let a potential difference v be applied between the ends of the conductor as there is a potential difference between ab and there is a conducting path between ab an electric current flows through the conductor from a to b let i be the current flowing through the conductor right now according to ohm's law according to ohm's law at constant temperature when temperature remains constant right electric current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to potential difference between its ends that is uh, mathematically i will write uh, i is proportional to v when i write like that electric current is directly proportional to potential difference right so when potential difference is increased the current also increases right for example when i put potential zero so current will zero suppose if we put potential 1 volt current is 1 ampere then when potential difference is 2 volt the current is 2 volt when potential difference is 3 volt the current is 3 ampere like that not only like that suppose if for 1 volt 2 ampere is the current then for 2 volt 4 ampere and for 3 volt we have 6 amperes so that is uh, the meaning of uh, the current is directly proportional to potential difference right if we go on increase the potential difference between the ends of the conductor now the current flowing through the conductor increases when i is equal to 0 I mean sorry v is equal to 0 i is equal to 0 right so or or v is directly proportional to i or v by i is equal to a constant where we have taken 1 1 1 by 1 is equal to 1 constant 2 by 2 is equal to 1 1 constant right 3 by 3 is equal to 1 remains constant so the ratio of potential difference to current right when we measure different when we have different values of potential differences we will obtain different values of current but for each set of values v by i is always remain constant right now this uh, constant is called resistance of the conductor and it is denoted by the symbol r right now this constant is called resistance of conductor and is denoted by the symbol r therefore i can write this v by i is equal to r the ratio of potential difference to current is equal to resistance or we can write 
V is equal to I into R. This is uh, the mathematical form of Ohm's law. V is equal to I R. Right? Now, why we need to state this condition? At constant temperature, why we need to put that condition at constant temperature? Right? It is uh, because of the fact that, right? If temperature changes, the value of uh, right R also changes. If I take uh, that uh, different values of V and different values of I, corresponding values of I, say uh, when I take it 30 degree Celsius, I will get uh, V by I value, one value. F at 40 degree Celsius, for the same conductor, the V by I value will have some other value. It is more than the previous case. When I take at 50 degree Celsius, then this V by I is another value, right? It is still more. So, the value of V by I, which is constant, right? It is constant only at temperature remains constant. If temperature value changes or increases, V by I value also increases. That means uh, the value of V by I right, is different for the different temperatures. Therefore, we need to put the condition that is uh, at a constant temperature. Right? Clear? Now, this is a very important uh, right law. Right? Uh, in uh, current electricity with the help of that right uh, we can calculate the value of potential difference or current or resistance right